Good morning and welcome to North London Allotment. actually a bit nippy which is a surprise because it's been so hot all week and um, today's mission you know in time team when they used to stand by a, a, like a really empty field and they'd say we've got to prove some ancient civilization lived here and we've got three days to do it that's kind of how I'm feeling with all this so if I walk you through the plot I will describe some of the things I have got on my to-do list this has to become plantable. That has to be weeded and cleared. Um, this is meant to be a herb bed, but there's not enough compost there. You see that fairy ring? I put some garlic chives in there the other day. These onions need planting out. There's some herbs that need adding to the new herb bed. If we go down here, this can wait, this can wait. The shallots are in now. So those are the overwintering golden sun ones. And I completely forget the name of the other two lots, but there's like a pinky one and a yellowy one. <laughs> and they're in there, underplanted under the cow because I'm leaving those flowers for the bees. This is ticking over okay. It's got random potatoes in there that I obviously missed last year. Oh God, there's more than I realised. Yeah, I didn't do so well at getting all the potatoes out last year. Um, what is next? This needs digging over. Well, in fact, the whole thing does. What can you do? Um, yeah. <laughs> this all needs to become nice beds for veg. Wish me luck. But the easier bit to start on is down here where this um, mustard is. That shouldn't be too hard to get rid of and maybe put something in there not sure what because plans are changing this needs to come off today and i need to weed and put some onions in and let's share the joy look at this okay ignore the grass but we have going right to left um where the bottles are that's coriander and spring onions well if they ever appear oh no i think there's some coriander there I've never grown coriander, so I don't know what the seed leaf looks like, but that looks promising. Then we have two types of beetroot, a chard, radish, don't like radish, but I've never grown them, so I thought I should, because everyone grows them, <laughs> and then some more chard. And look at how the rhubarb's doing. You remember how piddly that was when I first uncovered? It's doing quite nicely. I can see, if you look in there, sneaky mare's tail creeping in um then this is what i did last sunday i got all the weeds out which killed my knees took <laughs> took the best part of the day and i've put strawberries the strawberries that are in pots were drying out so they're now in here there's alpine strawberry just add cream some albion there's kind of a mixture throughout the season and then where these fairy circles are, completely stole that idea. I think it was someone on Planet Vegetaria, Richard and Paul's Facebook group. And they put a photo up using these to remind them where they put flower seeds. And I always forget. And I always pull up flower seeds as weeds, forgetting. I thought, that's genius. I'm stealing that. So I'm sorry I don't remember your name. But wow, great idea. So if we just look here... There we go. Ignore that bit. That looks all right, doesn't it? It's just if you look over here, it doesn't. So, this is my challenge. No ancient civilization. Probably some bits of bone and plastic. Not three days to do it. But let's see how much we can get done. Carrot bed uncovered. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a good line in weeds. There's grass. There's bindweed. There's potato. And I dug one out the other side um, the other day and it had grown from like a piece the size of a penny. 
And I'm wondering if that potato has done the same because there were definitely no potatoes in here. I can still see bits of plastic, which is lovely. Bindweed will have to come out. Now, if you remember, the wooden bits are where the onions are in theory going. I don't think I'll be able to get to all of them. So I can hoe straight down there without worrying about missing any carrot seedlings. Have I got carrots? It's really hard to tell at the moment. Because they're, well these ones, I can tell these are carrots. Those are first leaves of carrots, but I'm gonna really struggle, I think, with some of these to identify them. So what I might do, I might get the bindweed out. Um, hoe where the onions are going, get that potato out and leave the rest for another day until I can see what I'm dealing with because I don't want to make the mistake I made last year which was weeding carrot seedlings. Okay I've done the best I can. There are weeds left in the rows with the carrots but I need to wait till they're bigger to sort those out really. So now I'm going to try and put some onions in. The onions are here and they are now mystery onions because the Sharpie has gone in the sun. So next year, I'm gonna remember, just use pencil. Here it is, onions in. I still have now three or four trays of onions to find a home for, but these ones are in. There's still loads of weeds, but as I said, I'll wait till the carrots are bigger so I can pick around them a bit easier. Job one done, and that's taking about two hours, yay. Tough as one now, and I've just finished digging this over. It's not a huge bed and it was actually quite easy well as digging goes um because i had part of it covered in weed membrane and the rest had green manure on so that made it a lot easier there were a lot less weeds to get out but the bit that had the green manure was very hard and i did water it it's very dry you can see the difference look at the color of the dark bit which was kept moist by the weed membrane and then the baked clay that had the um, mustard, the green manure on. Now I'm going to soak it good and proper and that will probably be it for today. I'll give it another soaking but I think there's some rain due on Tuesday so that will help as well. See some roots like just there where I'm placing the water. That's the mustard seed so I'm not worried about that because that can just be left in dug in. I have tried to get out any other roots, but I have to say the green manure has done a really good job because the grass that was growing in between it was annual grass. It came out really easy. It was growing from seed, so it's very easy to get out. Which makes a nice change on this here. There we go. So there's my carrots and onion bed, and then my other onion bed, and the beginning of getting some order into this quarter of the plot. I'm just going to show you a magpie that has been coming to eat the crusts. I know I'm five years old, I don't eat crusts, but I've left them my lunchtime sandwiches. So have a look. So that's it, I'm all packed up and that's another day on the plot done. You never get as much done as you want, but I'm quite happy with the jobs I've done today. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.